Today, I want to tell you five reasons why you should never be afraid to experiment inside of Lightroom. What's up, nerds? Today, we're going to talk about five reasons why you should never be afraid to experiment inside of Lightroom. But before we get into that, I want to talk about today's poll, which is right here in the cards up above. Today's poll is, are you a night person or a day person? For me, I'm definitely a night person. I hate getting up early in the mornings, which I know sounds crazy, especially being a photographer and all, but I find that I'm my most creative in the evening times. What about you? Leave your answers up in the cards. Back to today's episode. I wanna to talk to you about five reasons why you should never be afraid to experiment inside of Lightroom. And these are very simple, but can make a huge difference. Reason number one. The first reason why you shouldn't be afraid to do things inside of Lightroom is none of the changes that you make to your photographs are permanent yet. These changes really only exist inside of Lightroom. If we were to go over to the original file on our hard drive, even though we've made changes inside of Lightroom, the file on our hard drive is exactly the same way it came out of the camera. So should you make mistakes inside of Lightroom, there's really no harm, no foul yet. You haven't made any permanent changes to the image. This brings me to the second reason why you should never be afraid to experiment inside of Lightroom, and it's that you have a reset button. So if you do make a bunch of changes to the file and you hate everything about it, you can simply hit this reset button and boom, the file goes right back to the beginning and then you can start the editing process all over again. How nice is that, huh? The third reason why you shouldn't be afraid is this little thing called virtual copies. Basically what it means is that you can take your photograph and make a copy of it inside of Lightroom, thus the name virtual, meaning if I make a copy of it, this copy only exists inside of the Lightroom program. It doesn't exist on the hard drive yet, but this allows me to leave the original file alone and make any changes that I want to the copy which means you can get as crazy with this copy as you want and you can make as many virtual copies as you want as well. The fourth reason that you shouldn't be afraid to experiment inside of Lightroom is something called snapshots. And basically what it allows us to do is take pictures or snapshots of our progress. So if I go in here and I make a bunch of color adjustments and then I feel like I want to stop or save this moment in time, I can take a quick snapshot of it. Then if I want to continue the editing, maybe with some more creative adjustments like split toning or vignetting or whatever it may be, I can do those adjustments and then make another snapshot. Then maybe if I want to try some different things using presets or black and whites, I can save another snapshot and I can name these snapshots whatever I want and I can have as many snapshots as I want as well. One of the differences between snapshots and virtual copies is that these things, virtual copies, the files and the adjustments are separated. With snapshots, everything is contained in one nice, neat package. And so snapshots is usually my ideal way of creating uh, variations of my files versus virtual copies. But you know that you have both options, so go ahead and try them both and see which ones fit your workflow a little bit better. The fifth and final reason why you should never be afraid to experiment in Lightroom, and this to me really is the most important out of all of the reasons, is that this is how you learn. Experimenting inside of Lightroom, playing with sliders, figuring out what things do, this is how you learn the program. This is how you get a feel for what it is that you like or don't like. And it's this experimentation process that not only helps you learn, it also helps get those creative juices flowing and help inspire some creativity. So you should never be afraid to go into Lightroom and make changes and experiment and play because you've got five reasons now or four tools that help you know that none of the things that you're gonna do are permanent or gonna ruin your file or anything like that and you get the chance to see what things do and get get your creative uh, get your creative self going. That's all I've got for today's episode. Don't forget about today's poll. And don't forget to comment, like, or subscribe. 
we always appreciate that. That's all I've got. My name is Adam. I'm out.